Hello guys, so I've not fully decided what I'm going to say in this. It's 3 a.m. right now, and I thought I'd do a much requested video all on tanking in AQW. Now, I did do my research. I did the same with healing. It's mainly, though, off of just personal experience and what I've noticed in the game. Um... First off, before I begin, if you're interested in being in my guild when guilds do release, I'm going to let you know I'm not joking around with this guild. I am dead serious, not giving out the name, do not want it to get stolen, but I am dead serious about this guild. I do not want it to be, you know, yeah, a bad one. I want it to be probably the best guild in Adventure Quest Worlds, so if you want to join, um, go ahead, some things about it though, this is my house, is the guild meeting house, um, I don't really use my house at all, so it will be a guild meeting house, and these little trophies around here are gonna be, that's just my personal one, I don't know if I'll keep it up though, same with that and that, and that I actually did with a friend that's gonna be in the guild, so yeah, but, how it's gonna um, be is that my house is going to have up trophies that we earn from like bosses and stuff together as a guild and we'll have those all around people can come and see our little achievements that we've gotten and everything but anyways moving on um, oh yeah I will mention some things about the guild in this video and most of it though is pertaining to just the regular player the average fan base, the people, you know, that are not planning to be in the guild. But if you are planning on being in the guild, you need to watch this entire video, please. If you are not planning on being in the guild, watch it anyways. The little guild segments will be short and sweet, so don't worry about that, and they'll be kind of in between like this one. So, on with the video. So tanking an AQW is kind of easy to say. It's easy with the mechanics, but what you actually have to do makes it difficult. In many games, tanking and healing are the hardest things to do, and damage is the easiest. Now, tanking is very simple to understand what you have to do. Before I begin, though, I'd like to, t to really get in de depth, I mean... Before I really get in depth, I want to tell you exactly what classes to get. Now, I did get Defender pretty high rank the first time it came out, like the very day. And I got bored with it, so I got rid of it. So I just got it, just started fresh. This is what you need to do if you have um, any type of verification from... Um, dang. Adventure Quest... Dragon Fable, I couldn't remember. And Mech Quest. Lord knows why Mech Quest. Anyone still play that? But anyways. Yeah. A lot of people say this is not good because this is a bad class. Because there's basically nobody that knows how to use it and what it was built for. I mean, honest. People just don't know. Now, if you're not verified, and that is not members, so don't worry, but if you're not verified, warrior class is what you need to get. This class, you basic abilities you need to use is this imbalancing strike to stun an opponent. And you need to use this on guard. Challenge your opponent, dealing 75% normal damage and taking 50% from all sources for 10 seconds. So, this means you deal more damage and it, it starts attacking you. That's called aggro. Aggro is what you build, what a mob, you build up. A mob is just like a monster, you know, something you fight. It, aggro is what you build up into the suspension that it'll fight you. If your aggro is high, it's more likely to fight you. Most of the time, a higher level with stronger stats builds up the most aggro. Somebody that does a lot of damage over time, which is called a DPS, which is damage per second, which is just basically somebody who gets in and fights and deals a lot of damage to the mob or boss or whatever, is 
building up a whole lot of aggro and with um without a certain t um tank class there would be no way to keep control the healers would be going insane who do i heal what do i do they wouldn't know what to do which is why defender was then created now warrior was the basic tanking enforcer's kind of mad but it's not good for uh like boss tanking it's pretty good for multiple tanking but warrior and defender is good for both i highly recommend defender though if you can get it in fact if you can this is the tanking class that was added into the game for exactly what i told you that dps do a lot of damage now you're probably saying okay okay well the defender doesn't do much damage um so you know huh, how's it going to keep a lot of aggro well this little spell right here commanding strike and i have tested this and it works very good it works just about 99 percent of the time there was only a couple times that i noticed i did not keep aggro and yeah and i was doing tons less damage than the other guys i mean the other guys were killing the mobs they, they were pretty low level the other guys were getting the mobs down like one third of their health each strike and i was getting them down like one twelfth of their health each, each strike so that just proves it and my weapon was probably just as strong as theirs it's the class I'm telling you, it's the class. So, tanking enhancement, as far as I know, this is the best I've noticed, is Warrior. Because Warrior increases your endurance more than any other enhancement. Correct me if I'm wrong. And as you can see right here, my endurance is 70 plus 81. So that's an added on 81 endurance, which increases your health. Yes. It gives you high, high, high health. Now let's go through some of the statistics with Defender, which makes it so good. Now this Commanding Strike, the reason that it um, is so amazing, it costs 10 mana. And you can get that 10 mana back while you wait for the cooldown. The cooldown is 3 seconds, but get this. It deals moderate damage, which is average damage, you know, what a normal, what your weapon would normally do. And it forces the target to turn its attention to you for six seconds. That's just their, let's say, noob friendly. The people that don't know what aggro is. That's their way of saying, you pull aggro and you keep it. You keep it for six seconds. Three second cooldown. That means you can keep aggro on a boss, on a mob, whatever. The entire fight. Entire fight. He will not deal a point of damage to anything else but you. Now, of course, this is not safe, because as you know, with mobs and bosses, normally it's attacking multiple people, so the healers don't have to heal as much, because there's more health altogether. But if you want to keep it all in one spot, it's actually very easy. What you need is most likely two healers for a boss, and one for mobs. Now, if you haven't watched my healing video, and you know that you're going to be a healer, and in my guild, you will be tested to see if you're a healer are you a tank or if you're neither those are the ones you'll be tested for first if we need them if not you'll just be kind of set off to the side as a dps which like i said it's damage per second they do the most damage um if you're neither a tank or a healer you will be set as dps and you'll kind of you know go your own separate way until we need you but as a tank and a healer, you know, we'll always be working with you, telling you, you know, what's the latest thing, what's, you know, going on. And, um, so this ability is the only ability you need in this entire thing. So, right off the bat, you've got all you need in Defender. Rank does not really matter. Although, Rank 4, you do kind of want to get it to that, because it increases your critical strike chance by 10%, so you're, you have a higher chance of getting a critical hit which does pull aggro and which you really don't need it and these are passive which means you cannot physically use them see those are physical you cannot physically use them they're always going it'll you'll also get plus 15 percent endurance so with your um, warrior enhancement that gives the most endurance like I said correct me if I'm wrong then you'll get even more and you'll have the highest health you should at least you know, somebody has 2,000 health, you should have, like, 2,150 health. And so, the more health you have, the more aggro you pull. Again, with the aggro, it's very important.
Alright guys, I'm running out of time. Please watch part 2. A link will probably be on the screen about now. Thank you.